It's Christmas Eve. Are you seriously going to the gym today? Skinny bitch. This chapter of my life is called My Turn, and I'm unapologetic as fuck about it. I don't touch the stuff, not gonna touch the stuff, never touch the stuff. That was a lie. What do you think? Oh, very nice. It's very cool. <laughs> What's going on, Dylan, you skinny bitch? Who's your daddy? Look at him. <laughs> oh my god. I keep your hoe upstairs when she wanna f. life like you're the hero in your movie. Right now, you are in the part of the movie that starts and it shows you as a fucking loser. And just decide not to be a loser. The gym is your whole personality. <laughs> we don't give a fuck. Push, man. Push. Push. One more. One more. That's the mentality you gotta have. One more in everything you do. One more rep. One more set. One more lap. One more minute. Hold on for one more minute, man. Don't fucking give up on me. What do you think? Oh, very nice. I was a, I was a little, I was a little like, like damn. Yeah. Front double bicep, side chest, side tricep, front relax, gentlemen. Okay, two relax. Yes, I did the butler. <laughs> if God exists, it's fucking me. One hundred percent. 100 fucking percent. I'm, I'm not joking. If you're a fucking savage and you get out there and you grind hard and you want it bad enough, you can run all these guys over, man. And this whole COVID thing, people don't want to go back to work and, you know, they want to stay home and all this bullshit, man. This next generation is just such a fucking group of pussies, man. I, I... Just answer the question, okay? Please don't play with me right now. Vegetarian? No, I'm not a vegetarian. But I'm not eating a sandwich that my neighbor made when his apartment been smelling like a dead raccoon's ass. For the first time in my life, I don't feel the need to be with anyone. I I don't have my eyes on anyone. I'm not in the mood. I 
don't have enough stamina for it right now. And I'm totally fine with that. Take it off. Show my face. Yes, sir. Negative. Are you ugly? Quite the opposite. Tomorrow morning, no matter how depressed you are, if you're considering suicide, promise me this. Get a six-pack first. By the time you got the six-pack, you won't want to do it. That's how it works. Oh, fuck, I look like shit. Oh, fuck, I look like shit. Oh, this tastes like shit. Oh, I gotta take a shit. Oh, this is gonna feel like shit. <sighs> Best day ever. Can't wait to do it again tomorrow. Look, with all due respect to everyone, fuck everyone. Oh, Papa Sawyer, your hair is majestic. Thank you very much. Now shut the fuck up and go to the fucking gym. Why? Because I said so. You must be new here. He's so mean. I don't give a fuck. Go to the fucking gym. You hear that? Ah, ah, what? You hear that? Wait, 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 wait. It's no one giving a fuck. It's no one caring. <laughs> oh, go to the fucking gym. <laughs> what have you done? Oh, what have you done? Skinny bitch. One year from today, you're going to look back at the previous 365 days and you're either going to say, thank God I spent my time doing that, or you're going to say, damn, I wish I spent my time doing that. No question about it, I am ready to get hurt again. Let's do it. Les, I, I can't. Let's do it. I'm so sorry, I... Let's do it. Did you know that if you practice frog pose for at least a minute a day, it can help lower your blood pressure? Oh, oh, you want to get fucked up? You want to get... I think the universe is a very giving place. I think that in reality, if you truly try your best, you'll get it. I've yet to meet somebody who eats right, goes to the gym every day, and trains as hard as they could, who is not in fantastic shape. I've never seen it. It's like, so the only people who aren't in fantastic shape are the people who decided not to do those things. That's, that's what you decided to pull from the universe. I decided to pull the absolute opposite. Yeah, before you drop it, excuse me, I'm in the middle of a set right no, now. No, trust me, I know, I'm trying to give you some advice. I would never take advice from a guy that looks like you. Alright, what is that supposed to be? Go ahead, take your shirt off. Okay. <laughs> Pathetic. You know what, I'm just trying to warn you not to drop the weight because- I'll drop whatever weight I want to drop. Right now, I'm only thinking about dropping your girlfriend's panties. Okay, so get lost, kid! No, fine, go ahead, drop the weight. Don't listen to me. Oh, I will drop it, just like I've been planning through this entire sketch. Whoa! They got new floors. They're extra bouncy. I will never allow anyone to make me feel like I am not enough. See how low I can go.
gone. Big racks, they long. I'm hot now, I'm on. Said I wouldn't be shit, they wrong. A clear horizon. Are you? Oh no, I'm leaving a trail of pre-workout. I hope a girl with thick thighs and a gym obsession doesn't follow me home. Holy sh- to seduce you. Would you like me to seduce you? What do you think? Oh, very nice. It's very cool, baby. Let's do it. Les, I, I can't. Let's do it. I'm so sorry. I... Let's do it. What the fuck? What the fuck? Guess what? Hmm? You're a bitch. Sacrifices are necessary. You can't gain anything without losing something first. Although, if you can endure that pain and walk away from it, you'll find that you now have a heart strong enough to overcome any obstacle. Yeah, a heart made full metal. I'm Donald Campbell. Excuse me, bro. You're excused. And I'm not your bro. Never forget to enjoy your life. I don't care what you're doing. I don't care if you're working a nine to five. Don't forget to have fun with your friends while you're at work because life's short sometimes and it's a lot shorter than a lot of you know. Don't look at life as this aggressive step of what's next, what's next in such an aggressive way. Chase your goals, but fucking enjoy yourself. Bro, I don't know what's in my pre-workout today, but it's hitting different. Things that every beginner in the gym thinks about and does. How do I adjust this machine? I have no idea what weights to use. Walking around not knowing what to do next. Looking at form and how to videos before doing an exercise. Feeling like people are judging you for using lighter weights.
In the gym, you have men who train hard and men who hardly train. Me, I train to make men hard. Tough time never lasts. Only tough people last. Get the fuck up and go jam! We have to fucking set goals. We have to achieve them. We have to fucking do things to give our brain stimulation, to give ourselves happiness, because that is the point in life. There's only one person on this earth who can become the person you want to be, and that's you! That's you! You feel happy? Go to the fucking gym. Are you sad? Go to the fucking gym. You stressed? Go to the fucking gym. Anxious? Go to the fucking gym. Depressed? Go to the fucking gym. It's raining. Go to the fucking gym. Things we all do at the gym, but don't talk about. Moving your head and feet to no beat. Doing the 360 walk after your set. Get lost when your next machine gets taken. Always adjusting your top after a set. If you go to the gym, and you work out, and you come back and you look in the mirror, you will see nothing. And if you go to the gym the next day, and you come back and you look in the mirror, you will see nothing. Right? So clearly there's no results, can't be measured, it must not be effective. So we quit. Right? Or, if you fundamentally believe that this is the right course of action, and you stick with it. Like in a relationship, I bought her flowers and I wished her a happy birthday. And she doesn't love me. Clearly I'll give up. You know? That's not what happens. If you, if you believe there's something there, you commit yourself to act, an act of service. You commit yourself to the regime, the exercise. You can screw it up. You can eat chocolate cake one day. You can skip a, skip a day or two. You know? You, you, it allows for that. But if you stick with it consistently, I'm not exactly sure what day, but I know you'll start getting into shape. I know it. And the same with the relationship. It's not about the events. It's not about intensity. It's about consistency. Mind if I were in with you? <laughs> no, it's fine. Help me. I, I can't. I love it. Yeah, of course. Uh, do you want me to take the weight off? Is it too heavy? Oh, no. That's too light. I'm going really heavy today. Okay, yeah. We'll go heavy today. <laughs> you want to start off with one plate? No, I usually start with two. Two? Okay. Yeah. Lightweight. Yeah. And really light. You know, I can go do another exercise and come back and let you finish. I know this is huh? probably too light for you. We can add four more plates. More? Okay. Yeah, we got more. Last one. You got first. Easy money. Yeah, real, real easy. Come on, give me six reps. Chest day? Oh fuck, I look like shit. Oh fuck, I look like shit. Oh, this tastes like shit. Oh, I gotta take a shit. Oh, this is gonna feel like shit. <sighs> Best day ever. Can't wait to do it again tomorrow. I don't get on my knees for no man. Get on your knees, honey. You must increase the hunger level, the desperation level, and you must get more focused. Life is 10% what happened to you, is 90% what you do about it. You got to stop tripping every time something happened to you like it's the end of the world. It ain't. God has seen you through all these years of your life. Why would he bring you this far to leave? You ain't got to be perfect to have a relationship with God. You ain't got to be perfect for God to bless you. Just change your mindset. If you change your attitude, you change your altitude.
Why didn't anyone tell me the Austin airport had a prison gym? The number you have dialed doesn't give a fuck. Let's talk about the epidemic of this here crack pipe. It's leg day and your boy's going heavy on squats. And to make matters worse, it's 11 p.m. on a Friday. And while most people are drinking at the bar, I'm going to be most likely dying under one. Merry fucking lift mess, you lazy assholes. It is time to get your holly jolly lift on at Macy's. Train hard and eat harder. We don't like small bitches around here. So get your lazy ass up before Santa mistakes you for one of his tiny ass elves. Today I feel uh, gay. I just beat me. This ain't about nobody else. I don't give a fuck about nobody else. I just beat me. I'm in a battle with the only person that I really want to fucking beat, and that's me. Grown men after taking prey. Man, I got all the flavor bitches say I'm delicious I'ma have all you motherfuckers lay in a ditch I'ma kill all you rappers, I'ma aim with precision They was rocking with your ass till they made a decision All my friends making millions cause they know I'm my bitch A lot of entertainers crash, I can see the collision That's step to make the money, I was great at the That's ridiculous, it's ridiculous, it's ridiculous If you see us in the club, we'll be acting real Your body will give what you ask of it. If you don't ask much, it won't give you much. Oh my god, oh my god. What do you think about people who skip legs? Oh, <laughs> it's like I say, everybody want to be a bodybuilder, but nobody want to train legs. <laughs> Christmas, I gave you my heart The very last day, you gave it away Boys, have a fucking break today, yeah? Stop worrying about going to the fucking gym Have a fucking beer And just relax That's exactly what I'm about to do Relax Don't be fucking joking One scoop, two scoop You think I'd let you have a day off the gym? What I Fuck <laughs> Take it, take it, take it Whoopsie! <laughs> it's because it's Christmas. Doesn't mean you fall off track, bitch. Oh! I feel drunk. Merry Christmas! <laughs> ah! oh! Look at the guy!
go to... Well, this is more serious than I thought. Are we skipping leg day again? Hmm? Well, what do you call this? What do you call these things? <laughs> Those are legs. <laughs> Don't skip leg day. Excuses make today easier, but tomorrow harder. Discipline makes today hard, but tomorrow You went to the gym on a Monday evening. I'm going to give you the perfect lifter Christmas list. First up we got wireless headphones. This is a perfect gift for anyone that works out, but do not get fucking AirPods. I recommend getting over the ear headphones. Sound quality is better, and oftentimes for what you're getting it's a lot cheaper. Next up we got Gym Drip. Now this gift also helps me, because now I don't have to see whack ass fits in the gym. But yeah, if you're getting something for a girl, get her, I don't know leggings if you're getting something for a guy get him something to accentuate that physique next up is a good gym bag now this comes in very clutch you don't want to be the motherfucker who pulls up to the gym with a backpack next up we got pre-workout if you don't know what pre-workouts are good let you just google like 10 good pre-workouts last up on the list we have trend yeah hey can you help me of course girl what you need i'm just so short can you get this down for me So can you? Huh? Yeah, of course. Uh, can you just grab my water bottle while you're down? Yeah, of course. I'm a little thirsty. <laughs> I didn't know which one it was. I'm the tallest in my family. Path, you went to the gym on a Monday evening. <laughs> I'm just playing, ladies. You know I love you. There you go, my friend. No, you're not tired. We still got work to do. Boys, this is three things we can do to make the gym a nicer environment for everybody. First of all, boys, if you're training hard, you're most likely going to be sweating on all the machines. Just give them a little wipe. No one wants sweaty ass cheek prints on the machines. Just be nice and clean. Secondly, boys, let's just put them plates away. Keep the gym a nice clean environment for everybody else. It's just simple gym rules. Don't forget the dumbbells as well, boys. When they're all like scattered on the floor, they're all uneven and you trip over them, nothing worse. Also with the dumbbell, boys, don't just be throwing them after you finish a set. Put them on your knees like this or if you go to absolute failure, you might not be able to do that so just control them down on the ground don't just launch them in my gym the mirrors get broken quite often and the dumbbells are quite faulty sometimes and no one wants that so let's just respect the environment i have a question for you if you could go back in time to one day in your life and relive one single moment what would it be? Hey man, quick little reminder before you actually pass out tonight. Look, you did a good job today. A really good job. Don't worry about no bullshit that came through. The day is done. Pack it up, get some rest, you deserve it. But remember this before you actually go to sleep. You're worth it. Everything that you've done, everything you want to do. Everyone's fucking proud of you, I'm proud of you. So, just know, you did good today. All right, love.